Um, I wanted to make a video because I went to a yard sale today. Actually, I went to a yard sale and an estate sale. Um, and I wanted to show you what I got. So first I'll start with the estate sale. Um, I think I found it through my free and for sale group and they were like, oh, like I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff. I'm moving this woman, like a, I think like a four bedroom home to a row house in Philly. And she was just like, yeah, I already moved in and all this stuff is, uh, it's already packed in there. So I have to get rid of whatever's left here. So pass the savings on to me. So <laughs> one of the first things I got, I got bop it. I, I'm so excited. I've had a bop it before, bop it to start. but score I'm just excited to have one. Wow. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, so I got that. I got this cute little beach bag. It was a dollar. After I bought everything, I saw it and I was like, oh, how much is this? She was like, just give me a dollar. Um, I spent like a total of, I think, $11 at this sale. Um, I found, of course, I found a bag of toys. There is a teeny weeny Barbie in it. Isn't she cute? And then there's a Kelly doll in there, which I was just like, wow. In the beginning of my dollhouse adventures, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna buy a different size of dolls. It's stupid. Um, it's not something I want to do, blah, blah, blah. I don't need them. And uh, yeah, I picked up some toys after work this week and it was baby stuff because I love the Barbie babies. So uh, they have a crib now, there's a stroller. So I have to pick the lucky doll to be a mom or a dad. Um, and just some other cute things. There's like these bobble-headed dogs in them dogs and cats they're very cute and there's also a little golden retriever I think I might upgrade Eva's golden retriever now that he's not a puppy anymore I have other size golden retriever probably very into golden retrievers um, but this one's just so cute and I like that it's lying down I don't have other I think most of my other dogs are sitting or standing Aww. <laughs> What do do? Um, and there's just like some other random toys in there. I don't feel like showing you. Oh, I got some Powerpuff Girls. That's cool. I thought I saw a glass of two, but maybe just a buttercup. So that was that. Um, I also got a board game. It's not like taboo so there's like a password i left it in my car there's like a password and then you have to um each of the clues you get to like 10 clues and you have to go through them and all of them include that password so like if it's like ball it's like oh yeah it's just like meatball and it goes down the list and i guess like you're timed so I figured that'd be a fun game to have, and I'm going to the Finger Lakes in a couple of weeks, so I figure, oh, while we're out there, that would be a nice game to bring. Um, I think everyone who's going owns their own Catan, so I was like, oh, let me find something nice for us to do in some downtime. I'm super excited for that trip. We'll be there for like, get there Friday, and then we leave Wednesday? So super excited for some reason I don't know why like anytime I'm going on vacation I seem to like just want to buy new things like just like oh I need a whole new wardrobe for this vacation like ugh. at one point I was like really going to like google like <laughs> finger lake style book like what is the what's the vibe out there like what do I need so anyway this is like one of the ugh, because there was a toy bin there at the yard sale and like originally when she like posted on Facebook I was like oh do you have any like dollhouse stuff or Barbies and like there were no responses 
um so i saw this like doll bin and there was like some bags of clo like doll clothes and i like opened it up but i saw a lot of baby dolls in the bin so it was like mostly baby doll clothes um and then after i'd like started to make a pile of like other things that i was gonna go i was like oh let me just look in there again like maybe there will be like small little animals or something that i could use and then i saw <laughs> There's a disco ball in there. Ugh, this is so fun. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I did put a hook for plants um, in my living room, um, but I had to move the plant because it wasn't happy there. Um, so maybe I put it there, maybe in my bedroom because I don't have much in my bedroom. Ugh, oh, it's so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I think they might have made it themselves. Yeah, it's like a styrofoam ball. But, oh, that's, oh, that's so fun. And I think, yeah, and then the board game from that one sale. So everything cost me $11. And I was just like, ah, oh, nice. I was really, like really worried because there was like, oh, I don't know. Sometimes when people are like priced to move and I saw like some stuff she'd like labeled and put prices on, I was just like, hmm. But, yeah. It didn't have that much stuff, which is good for her. Like, yeah, to already have moved and have to do a whole yard sale for your own house. But I was like, I was in and out at in like less than 20 minutes. So just like, oh, I thought that was going to not that one sale was going to be my whole day. But I thought it'd take me a little bit longer. I thought it'd be really like digging through the crates and stuff. But on my way back, there's an apartment complex near me that has, um, uh, like condos I guess and there was an estate sale sign so I was like okay I'll stop there um went up to the apartment it was like a young couple like my favorite pair one of my favorite pairings is like very hippie woman and then like sciencey nerd boy um they were young about my age um they were like working like checking out a customer when I went in there and it was like a one bedroom so I just like walked immediately to the bedroom because like they were standing in the way of like everything else so i was just like okay i'll hang out here until this man leaves so i could walk um didn't spend too much time there but i got this this nice little the base yeah i don't know i'm thinking the plant that i had to move from hanging to a little shelf um i'm thinking i might put it in this it might go a little better and then it frees up the hanging pot that I have for another plant that might be going there or the disco ball who knows yeah I haven't decided that was five dollars um one thing I'm very excited this astrology book astrology and fortune telling the future so we'll see I can add it with my moon book and my little oracle book that I have slowly um, adding to my witchy collection, yeah, of the hippie girl side of the relationship, but yeah, there was like, it was like a bunch of Stephen King books, and like, big thrillers, and then there's like, every so often there'd be like a medical, metaphysical book, there was like a Lego set, and then over there were crystals, I was just like, oh, wow, wow. I love it for them. <laughs> um, so that. Um, I also picked up a bead kit, of course. Still leaning to, like, I just, like, really, like, as soon as I like, started to see their stuff, it's like, damn, I like them, <laughs> their vibes. Do you think they're looking for a third? It's just like, damn, you can't live your life this way. <laughs> You could just be friends with people. You don't need to be their third. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been seeing like a little, like I got two dollhouse books from the library that are like, oh, like finishing touches for dollhouses and some of the stuff, like small extra items that like either are annoying to buy or I haven't really like had the stuff to make it. Some of them use beads. So I'm like, okay, this would be fun. And yeah, I think some of them glow in the dark. What else did I get from them? Got the base. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a teeny, like, tiny, like, 
bag of like tie clips and whatnot. And then there was this little, <laughs> it's lit pin. <laughs> little firecracker to lit. Um, yeah, really cute. They also had an air fryer for $75, like one of those big like toaster oven-y looking ones. Like, I was going to, like, I was, like, thinking about it, but then I was just, like, <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready for an air fryer. I think, like, in the world, it seems like air fryer over Instapot, but I, I have the Instapot, and I'm, like, okay, so I already bought this one appliance. Like, let me not go into another one, because, like, now people like an air fryer. Um, let's see. If anything, I think I have to do more research. The Instapot air fryer top might be like a good idea because like also I don't want a bunch of I don't want a bunch of appliances. I'm one person. And then the like best thing that I found at this, like I was they had like a little coat rack or whatever. So I started going through it and she was like, oh can I interest you in a cashmere coat and then I looked at it and yeah it's a hundred percent cashmere um I put it on because I was just like well why not I was like originally like I was like trying to avoid it because like sometimes like the prices at some of these things can be like out of pocket and like they weren't really there weren't price tags on anything so I was like I don't really want to like do all this like it's just me and them too it's like there weren't other people there, so it's just like I don't want to be like, oh, how much is this? Mm, how much is this? Mm. And it's like, yeah, like coming into their home is like if you just if you were poor, you should stay at home. So I tried it on there. They had a mirror, and she was just like, oh my goodness, it looks so nice on you. Somebody here was early. Somebody was here earlier, and tried it on, but it like they didn't look good at all. But I had to say it because I wouldn't get rid of it. Um, it might be a little bit big, but now that it's here in my home, so this is the camel coat. Oh, the pockets are a bit the like the front size. It's, you can't see how long it is. It comes around to like mid, maybe like lower. Um, but I think it actually does fit pretty well, like the shoulders and stuff. Um, and then like, yeah, after she was like complimenting me about it and stuff, I was just like, okay, so like how much do you want for it? Because I was like, I'm not here to spend like a bunch of money, especially on a coat. It's summertime, I don't, I have coats and also like, whatever. And she was like, uh, is 20 okay? Like, and I was like, yeah, give it to me, give it to me. So now I have this sexy coat, little step step coat for the summer, this uh, winter time. $20. Oh, there's a hole in it, but I can fix that. And I saw some, some little black marks on it, but I think I've done that, but yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, like a nice little dress coat. Twenty dollars. They're moving to Florida, so she was just like, "Yeah, like it's a nice coat and stuff, but like, I just need it gone." So, yeah, those are the things that I found. Overall, I think I had a pretty good day. It's brought back my faith in the area since before. Like I, I think I've mentioned that like. The thrift shops haven't been like truly on and popping, but at least for my first, it seems like this weekend was like, now that it's like officially summer, everybody's just like, it's yard sale time. There was like a thousand different yard sale posts that I've seen that, have, that I saw for today. So looking forward to the rest of the summer. Um, oh, I also got a picture frame, but where is it?
So it might have been in, might be in the car, but I found a little cute little picture frame at the first yard sale. It was cute. It had like a gold border and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think like stuff that I mostly would like for the apartments, like maybe like some bigger pieces of art. Um, and then I think I need to start just like printing out more photos to put around in the correct sizes because I have, I have a few empty frames, but some of them are just like awkward sizes or um, I printed out a bunch of photos like from Shutterfly or whatever, but then they're like five by seven and I have like a bunch of four by six frames. And if I cut it down, it doesn't look right. Annoying. So, thanks for looking at my stuff. Bye.